This game looks like insanity. Soccer meets racing in this crazy game called Rocket League. Players are equipped with booster rig vehicles that can be crashed into the ball and each other for incredible goals, passes, and saves in many different highly detailed arenas. If you enjoy team strategy, racing, and sports games, then this is definitely one that you might enjoy, as it includes all of those things plus explosions and craziness. A few features of Rocket League include all new season mode that allows players to enjoy a full single player experience. So if you're not feeling like you can beat your friends, then you have the option to play alone and just battle bots, which still might be just as hard. So if you are wanting to jump in and stomp your friends, then you can play the amazing two, three, and four player split screen mode that can be played locally or taken online against other split screen players. When you do get an amazing score on one of your friends, you can replay that sweet, sweet moment at broadcast quality rub it in their faces a little bit, and fast forward, rewind, or view the action from anywhere in the arena so they can feel the burn from every angle. Burn! I know a huge aspect of racing games that people really enjoy is the ability to customize your own cars. Well, in Rocket League, you have extensive battle car customizations with more than 10 billion possible combinations. That's a lot of possible combinations to make a unique car that is exactly what you want it to be. And let's talk about some of these arenas. I wish that when I had played soccer in high school that we had some of these crazy awesome arenas. I probably would have had to go to high school in Tron to get some of these, but that's okay with me. These arenas are vibrant and flashy and oh so detailed. I did read one review on the 6 axiscom that was a little less than excited about the game. If you played its predecessor, supersonic, acrobatic, rocket-powered... Battle Cars. <laughs> it's a really long name. Then Rocket League is a little subpar. However, if you have no idea what that game is, like me, then this is a great and exciting game to play. And I'm sure that Rocket League will knock your socks off. Since we're still talking about arenas, the review said that the roster of arenas in rotation are all very similar, as they are mostly identical in the shape and the size. So if you're someone who is really into that sort of thing and you can't appreciate just the changing designs, then that might be an issue. However, there is good news, as the article said that Psyonix has promised a sustained feed of downloadable content. Overall, Steam reviews for this game are overly positive, and I've seen a lot of Rocket League circulating in the YouTube world. So I'd say if this has grabbed your attention, then definitely give it a shot. It looks like a really cool and fun game that you and a couple friends could spend tons of hours just having a great time. Well, that is all for this episode talking about Rocket League. If you enjoyed this first impression, then please leave a like. And if you would like to see more of me, you can find me on my channel, Brits Games. All my links are in the description below. You can also leave me a comment if you'd like, letting me know what game you would like for me to do a first impression on. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next week. Goodbye! Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.